Hello booktube, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to be doing my TBR for the holiday booktubeathon 2016. I don't even want to talk about the fact that I haven't done videos in a while. I'm gonna make a whole video about that. I don't want to talk about the fact that I never did a wrap up for my last booktubeathon. It didn't go well, that's all you need to know. All I want to do is spend this video talking about the three fantastic, hopefully wonderful, hopefully novels that I'm going to be reading on the 29th, 30th, and 31st. Of December 2016. In case you are not aware, the Booktubeathon is a biannual event that happens on Booktube. It is personally my favorite event and readathon that happens on Booktube. I think Booktubeathon is the most fun. I think it gets everybody involved and excited and reading. I know it's one of the only readathons that I partake in uh, personally, and I might try to change that next year. I don't even know. That's going to be a whole nother video. But today I'm going to be sharing my TBR for the event, and I will link more information about it below. I'll link Ariel's down below, I'll link the Booktubeathon page down below. Look down below. The first challenge, a simple challenge, because they're all supposed to be fun and not too difficult, is to read a book that has your favorite color on the cover. My favorite color to wear is black. Most of my wardrobe is black. For this challenge, I plan to read Black Hole by Charles Burns. Black on the cover, black in the name. It's also a graphic novel that takes place in the 80s in Seattle. My favorite city. I just finished Stranger Things and so I'm really obsessed with the 80s a little bit right now and so I'm excited to consume more media in that time. And graphic novels are good for readathons. It'll also just make my tiny little soul feel a little bit better about the fact that I didn't reach my Goodreads goal and so maybe consuming two or three more novels will make me feel better about all of that. And yes, if you couldn't already guess, a separate video on its way soon. The second challenge is to read a book uh, from a genre that you discovered this year. And I don't know if I necessarily discovered it this year, but 2016 my reading really changed and I started reading a lot less YA and a lot more other genres and one of those is nonfiction and books written by people that I admire. And so, for example, I read Buffering by Hannah Hart this year, and she is my favorite YouTuber, my favorite person. Buffering was probably one of my favorite books. So, I picked up Modern Romance by Aziz Ansari. Um, I finished Parks and Rec this year, just recently. I also watched Masters of None this year. I also watched Stranger Things and The Office this year. I did a lot of TV this year. But I'm really excited to read this novel for like 25,000 different reasons, and I've already started, and it's already fantastic. Uh, not only is this not YA fiction, it's non-fiction, it's also written uh, by Aziz Ansari, but also by a sociologist. They paired together to write it um, and do the research and do the experiments. And I am a sociology major, and so that's really cool. I'm reading about things that I have read about in the past, studies that I've heard about, uh, terms, ideas, like companion love, like things that I have heard about and that I know about. I'm reading... I'm reading in the most funny way that I can because Aziz Ansari is hilarious. He's my favorite comedian, I think. So that's absolutely fantastic. Another way that I am consuming, consuming this novel is through audiobook. That's something that I started doing this year and that's how I consumed a couple different novels this year. I read Wolf by... I read... I listened to Wolf by Wolf. I listened to Slash Red Winter. I'm also listening slash reading When Hugh 84, Tale for the Time Being by Risa Zeki. And so... Not only have I discovered nonfiction more this year, I've also discovered Audible. And so I think it's interesting that I'm consuming this novel for this challenge in those two different ways. I'm just so good at what I do, I guess. I don't know. He's so sweet. He's so cute. So good. So pure. Final challenge is to read a book that was gifted to you. I guess I could take this in two ways as well. Last year in 2015, I learned about The Walking Dead from my aunt, and so that was a gift because it's now my favorite show. And then this year in 2016, I was gifted the third book of The Walking Dead by my best friend Helen. There was a fantastic sale at the place she worked, and she got this bad boy for $3. Like, let me just say, I am all about thrift. I am all about saving money. Um, we work hard for our money. It is not easy to get money. It is not easy to survive in a capitalist society, and so, like... The fact that she spent money on me was A, polite, that like, that's nice, that's always nice, and the fact that this was so on sale is like, just so awesome to me, and so this is like, a really cool gift. They're also not my favorite thing in the world, which sounds like I'm being mean to the gift, but I'm actually just confused. I've just finished the first one this month, and it's very different from the show, and I don't know if it's because I consumed the show first, 
But I like the show more so far. Maybe it's because I'm, like, not only am I into reading, but, like, I'm really into visuals, and I'm really into editing, and I'm really into all of that with um, TV and movies, like, with video. So I don't know if it's because I like all of those aspects about the show so much better than I like reading it, but the, the, the graphic novels are really different. They're still good, like, do not get me wrong, and I'm still very grateful for this gift and, like, even my ability to own these and read these, but, like, they're very different from the show, and so I guess it's a gift of comparison as well. I'm stretching it. I haven't made a video in a while. I'm just stretching all of this. I don't really know even what to do. How do you, how to booktube, how to YouTube, how to video, how to read, how to live, how to succeed in a capitalist society. And the bonus challenge, of course, is to actually consume three novels. These are the ones I hope am, I'm, I'm going to attempt to read uh, in the next three days, because this actually starts tomorrow, I didn't even, like, think about that. But I also work the next three, I actually work the next four days, and then I'm straight back into school. So I don't actually know if I'm gonna read these three books. I hope to finish two of them. I hope to finish something this year. This year has been a year. This year has been a year. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so thankful to Ariel and to Booktubeathon and to book two for always being a constant in my life, even though I'm not a constant in it. But I'm thankful for books and words and quality loving people always being here to support me in a year that was just insane. So I really am going to try to do the book two -thon because I want to end this year, this crappy year, and begin this new year, hopefully a positive year full of growth and success and positivity and just like goodness. I live in America, so who the fuck knows? But I'm hoping to start this year in a positive and end this year, this hard year in a positive. And so I just wanted to say at the end that if you've had a really, really, really rough year like many of us have, keep your head up. End it well. End it doing something that you love, that makes you feel passionate, that makes you feel good, uh, because that's the only thing we can really hold on to right now. I'll see you soon with another video soon.